During my talk, I actually try to delineate the, the process of transplant decision making in myelofibrosis in, in four different uh, points. I think this could be useful for, for the general doctor uh, managing this patient. The first one is trying to select the transplant uh, candidates because, as I've said before, this is a heterogeneous disease. And as a general rule, the candidates should be those with an expected survival of less than five years. And, and we have a range of prognostic scoring systems that are very useful. But also, uh, I, during my talk, I, I explained that there are some uh, profiles, disease profiles that are high risk, like those that receive transfusions uh, regularly, those with severe thrombocytopenia, and those with high uh, blood, peripheral blood, uh, blood counts, which actually should be considered for transplant. This could be the first point. The second one is trying to predict the transplantation results. And the first one is to select the best donor, which is an, a sibling, it's actually my sibling donor. And the second one is try to estimate the, the results of transplant. And we have now the MTSS, which is a, a, a prognostic scoring system specific for patients with myelofibrosis that are undergo transplantation. Third point is to discuss uh, the risk benefit uh, balance of its uh, treatment option with the patient. And this is very important because in clinical practice, many patients do not go, want to go to transplant up front. And you have to explain uh, the potential benefits very, very, very well. And also, the, of course, the, the risk. And the, the fourth, which is important, is trying to define the optimal timing of transplant because it is not only a question of, of say, okay, this patient is a high-risk patient, has a good donor, let's go now for this. But it is also important to, to, de to define the, the, the optimal timing. And of course, one important consideration is always before leukemia transformation. This is a, a this stage, the results of transplant are awful. And opti the optimal time would be while the response is still in response to the YAC inhibitor treatment and it has, or he or she has an, a small spleen size, which in this situation, the results of transplant uh, are better. So this is in brief what, what I'm gonna be talking about uh, in my presentation.